This is a fun little project to make a chicken. Stick around to the end and there's a little bit of stop motion that's quite good fun. Okay, I've got a piece of ash. I've turned it roughly to round. There's a little flat spot there, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to turn uh, a tenon on this end so I can put it on my uh, chuck. I'll do that now. Thirteen hundred revs. Calipers are set to the optimum chuck dimension, which is close to being closed. where we're going to part it off. That's the top of its head and that's the top of the <coughs> uh, cone. So we're going for a, a rounded shape. Let me see if you can see that. Something like um, something like that, narrower at the top, a bit like an egg shape and then the cone a bit, bit wider at the top there and then the cone will come out we'll do a little parting just to uh, keep our uh, mark there parting there as well. And then at the top. This should only take about 20 minutes and um, I think it does sell really well at a, at a craft fair, Christmas fair type of thing. There, I use the tool rest to uh, to get that angle fairly straight. And as long as you keep your finger behind it, it should create a nice straight line with the tool rest. Right, that's the shape of the body. Um, we could part that off a bit further now. We'll do some sanding and get it sanded down to uh, 320. Start at uh, start at 120 and go down to 320. Turn the speed down.
Okay, that's got it sanded down to 320. I'm going to put some abrasive paste on. Last one was just a bit of beeswax. It's quite nice. Right, um, pot it off at the top and then at the bottom, and then we'll uh, take it over to the sander and see about this cone. Again, I'm making it concave so that it sits down nicely on the base. sand on the bottom and we'll take it over and see about making this cone. So we've made the cone shape, we need to find the centre, roughly, doesn't matter too much, and then the centre of those two gaps, so you want three lines. And then, oh, get it in camera, I'm just going to put a, a, a slight nick into the three lines. So I'm going to be uh, using a file and I just want the, the little nick to sh start it off with just to give something a groove for the uh, file to sit in that's it just three little you can see there you can see that three little grooves and then I get a file it's a triangular file and basically just file the file the grooves down. Do all three evenly. And keeping it square. And that's what we want. I'm going to mask off this 
uh, body so that I can um, I can colour that cone red. Okay, so I've masked off this area, and a quick point that uh, previously I sat, I um, I put some I put some um, uh, polish on that and uh, on that underside there, and it, it doesn't it doesn't need it. It's better not to polish it. Just leave that area sanded. Uh, so I've, I've masked it up, and I'll uh, I'll go around it with. I'm going to do it with some. I've got an orange. I did find that the red was a little bit too dark, so uh, I'm going to go over it uh, with with orange. So it's going to have an orange cone. Where I might just tint it with a bit of red, but we'll see what it looks like orange. It's just a case of going all around it. Okay, I think I'll leave it to, to leave it with the orange. I quite like that. So we'll take the masking tape off, and uh, there we go. Right then. As for the face, we want. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, I'm going to put the face on on this side because I like the markings, and kind of want to want to sort of a central line. Where the uh, in line with the with the cone and what have you, and then down here somewhere we want to come each side of that line for the eyes. So try and keep it equal, and then on down to make a sort of an equilateral triangle for the uh, for the beak and. I don't know whether you've got, if you've got one of these, they're a great little tool. It's a, um, it's a centre punch, but it's got a, it's got it's spring loaded, so that when you press it, it, it really does go in well, and it's, it's, it's easier than an awl, um, and it makes a, makes a good mark. So, put it on one of the eyes, and just press it. Makes a nice little hole ready for you can do it again if you like. Ready for the drill. Do the other one. Make sure it looks okay, that's fine. And then and then the beak in the centre. Give it two there. And that's ready to go. Right then, we'll get a drill bit. I have these I have these little plastic um, Call them just to make little eyes. They're off eBay. Uh, little craft eyes, I think they call them. If you if you type in craft eyes, I think these come up. And uh, and I've got a, a a drill bit that's just the right size. It's a little bit tight, but that's quite good. And then we just drill into the into where the eyes are carefully. Try and keep it square with the front, and one thing I will know, I see a lot of people doing this business, they hold it in the hand and they're drilling <laughs> towards the hand, don't do that, don't do that, put it somewhere where it's nice and firm and drill, even if it was to slip it's not going to, it's not going to go into you. And then one for where the beak is. I generally drill a bit deeper than I think I need. Um, as long as you don't come out the other side, it doesn't really matter. And then pop those in. As I say, they're a little bit. It's a little bit tight. What I tend to do is get a piece of wood because you're not going to damage the plastic so I get a piece of wood and I, uh, I push push it in oh 
<laughs> this one is tough. Let's see if I can get it on camera. There you go. And then the other one. That's the two eyes. And then we've got to make the beak. And I'm going to turn that out for a piece of dowling. Okay. Got a piece of dowling. It was a bit off centre, so I just turned it around. But. Uh, We'll make the beak out of this. No particular dimensions, I'm just doing it by eye. And then we can part it off. There we have it. Okay. So uh, a bit, a little, little bit of CA glue. I would use star bond, but no one sent me any. And you don't need any accelerator. Just wipe off a bit of that. There's a bit too much on there. And push it in. Nice and tight. That's going nowhere. Right. Job done. Okay. So, there we have it. A uh, little chicken. Really simple, fun project. Little things. I'll, I like making these little things. Uh, um, they, don't take, they don't take all day. And uh, they always look nice, and I quite like the idea of the uh, of the cone, where that you can make it turn the top and then just grind it off, and it's all in one. And then really you're just putting the eyes and the little beak on. Um, I've seen them with a, a, an extra little bit on the bottom that's a foot, but I just wanted to keep this one super simple, and uh, and basically with a few tools. Um, you know, a few extra tools, should I say, like the drill and what have you. Um, anybody could have a go at that. Um, yeah, anyway, there you go. Uh, hopefully, you liked the video. If you did, I'll never get it on the right, right side, I think it's there. Give it the thumbs up, uh, um, share, and, um, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, then uh, thanks a lot. It's uh, it's doing great at the moment, and uh, and I'm uh, I'm really uh, happy and grateful to all you guys out there. Um, yeah, and uh, and also if you could leave a comment. I've been uh, I've been a bit slow recently replying, but I do reply to them all, and uh, and I certainly do read them all. And, uh, and I do enjoy it. Anyway, there you go. There's a little guy. Oh, and, and he's got a little, are we allowed to say these days, a little rotund friend. Um, so, yeah, you can make them, you can make them any shape, any size that you want, and they always look fun. They're just, uh, yeah, great little characters. Anyway, stop messing about. This is my name's yeah even. My name's Andy Paramore. This is Andy's Cornish Creations, and um, and from a, 
a very wet and soggy Cornwall and you can hear it bouncing on the on the rooftop. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.